This Bible right here, it commands us as a church to be holy and completely united. We're called to be of the same mind and of the same judgment. And then we're called to have one hope and one Lord and one faith and one baptism. Paul, he pleaded with us. He commanded us to have zero divisions among us. But that's not what we see at all, is it? With our hundreds and hundreds of denominations. This church here says I can remarry. This one says I can't. This one says I'm a sinner. This one says I'm a saint. This one says it's homosexuality is a sin. This one over here has a gay pastor. Women can preach. Women can preach. Saved by grace alone and faith alone. Faith without works is dead. And here's the problem. All of these churches are saying opposing things, completely opposite things, but they're all using the exact same scriptures to back up their own positions. How does that even work? How are we as Christians to expect a newcomer coming into the faith to be able to understand and grasp God's truths if we can't even agree amongst ourselves? But thank goodness there is one thing that we all can actually agree on. And that is this, that the lost souls of this world, they matter. They matter so much. So for the sake of God and for for the sake of the lost souls of this world, let's just take our differences and put them aside for just a few minutes. And let's talk about some very important things. Let's ask one very important question. And that is this, can the truth be known? Can it be known? What do you think? Do you think it could be known? Do we just have to cross our fingers and hope that we figure it out or that we're right? Do we just hope that the preachers that we listen to actually know what they're talking about? Here at the Sound Faith Channel, we firmly believe that the truth can actually be known. And here's why. It says it right here in our Bible. In John 8, 31 and 32, it says, Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. I love that. That's good news, guys. That comes directly from the mouth of our King, our Lord and Savior. The truth, it can be known. Now, do I know the truth? I know a little bit of it. In fact, there was actually a time where I thought I had everything figured out. Until one day I was on the phone with my brother. We were talking about God and His grace and salvation and all sorts of other stuff. And he says to me, you know what, Jason? I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but you do realize that for like the first 1,600 years of Christianity, there wasn't a single Christian on the planet who believed the things that you're saying. And that was a hard pill for me to swallow. If it had been anyone else, I probably would have just dismissed it. But but this was my flesh and blood. This was my brother. We, We were raised in the same home. We went to the same church. What was it that he knew that I was missing? So I began to ask questions. I began to look into these things. I began to search the truth in ways that I never had before. And it turned out I was wrong about not everything, but most of the big stuff. I'm talking about salvation, the forgiveness of sins, how that even works, grace, the atonement, marriage, money, the nature of sin itself. We're talking about things that have eternal consequences, and I was completely wrong. Think about it like this. Imagine Christianity on a timeline. Right here in front of us, we've got 2,000 years of Christianity. I pick up a dart and I throw it, and it lands right over here, somewhere within three to 500 years from where we're at right now. Not over here, right over here. I hop in my time machine, I go back in time, and I preach a message. And the crowd loves it. Amen, preach it, brother, preach it. Praise Jesus, hallelujah, they say. And then I take that dart and I throw it again. Instead of landing over here, it lands all the way over here, somewhere within this 1,000, 1,500 years. I hop in my time machine. I go back in time to that point, preach that exact same message. And the audience is like, what? Are you kidding me? I can imagine it now. They're on their way home on their horse and buggy. Hey, Polycarp, can you believe what that heretic was a preaching about? You see, what I believed and what I thought about Christianity Those weren't even ideas that existed for like the first 1,500, 1,600 years of Christianity. Now, I'm not a betting man, but if I was, I'd bet you. I'd give you a 50-50 odds, coin toss. Actually, it's probably closer to like 95-5. But I'll give you 50-50 and I'll give you 10 to 1 odds. I bet you that if you call yourself a Christian, you live in America, and it's the 21st century, if those three things describe you, I would bet that a lot of the things, a lot of the core beliefs about Christianity and what it is that I believe, I bet that you believe a lot of those same things. This entire experience that completely turned my world upside down, what was I going to do with my life? Was I just supposed to continue to wake up and go to work and live like my religion hadn't just crumbled underneath me? I was convicted hard. 
I decided to quit my job. I sold everything that I owned, everything that I couldn't fit into my 2013 Volkswagen Jetta. I sold it and I picked everything up and I moved across the country to go live near my brother so that I could be with him, so that we could seek the truth together. And this is exactly the journey that we're on. And this is exactly what we're inviting you into right now to join us on this journey. This video is a call to all of the truth seekers out there. And we mean the real truth seekers. We're not just talking about the people who just need their side to be right or for their team to win. We're talking about the people who just want to know the truth. God, please show me the truth. It doesn't matter what it is. Just put the truth in front of me. Let it possess me and let it become a part of me. If that describes you, you should be excited right now. Because right here at the Sound Faith channel, we are launching a brand new series. We're, we're, these videos are going to be a little bit different than our normal videos. They're going to be shorter, three to five minute videos. We're going to be seeking the truth and we're going to find it. The truth, it can be known. If we ask and we seek and we knock the door, it will be open to us. It says that right here in this Bible. So what are we going to do? We're going to ask and we're going to seek and we're going to knock. If you are a seeker of the truth yourself, join us on this journey. Let us seek the face of God together and share with each other what we find on the way. Do we have it all figured out? Absolutely not. And that's exactly why we need other brothers and sisters, other followers in Christ, just like you to join us, to help us see when we say something that's not correct, to help us see the error of our way. It's not about being right. It's about us seeking the truth and finding the face of God. So this brings us to a very important question. When you're seeking the truth and there's so many different voices claiming opposing beliefs from each other and they're all using this scripture to back it up, when you get to the truth, how do you know you've actually got there? Are there methods or ways of seeking truth so that when you find the truth, you actually know you've got it? Join us in the next episode because in the next episode, that is exactly what we're going to be looking into. How do you seek truth in a way so that once you've found it, you know that you know that you found it? So make sure you like this video, share it with somebody that you love, subscribe to our channel, and make sure you hit that notification bell because you're not going to want to miss a single moment of this. Also, be sure that you tune in this coming up Thursday because Brother Mike Black is releasing a new message entitled The Apostolic Key. It's, inc it's an incredible message. You're going to love it. God bless, and we'll see you in the next episode.